Hello, and thanks for being here. My name is Lexi, and today's topic is sabotage. Are Africans sabotaging Black Americans who are relocating to Africa? The short answer is yes. Yes, continental Africans are holding back the African diaspora from thriving due to the proliferation of scams, extortion, bribery, and other criminal acts that they visit upon them. Black Americans go to Africa to connect with their ancestral roots and culture that was stolen from them when their ancestors were sold into slavery by other Africans. We come in peace, not looking to take over, but to become part of the community. But when we arrive, all you see is a mark or a lick. Living, breathing, walking, talking ATM machines. And you use our desire to come to Africa and embrace our heritage to take advantage of us. We open our hearts to you and in return you stab us in the back, sometimes literally. You smile at us and say, you're my brother, you're my sister. But your heart isn't pure. Is putrid. You sabotage us when you sell us land that you know belongs to someone else, or when you romance scam someone and manipulate, bully, or abuse them into giving you their life savings while leaving them destitute and in extreme cases dead. You're a saboteur to us, Africa, and your own progress. Now, we are all aware that this is happening, but why? So here's the crux of the matter. Lack of unification among blacks. Africans do not see us the same as themselves or as part of the black race. The white Europeans learned hundreds of years ago that there is power and influence in unification instead of fighting against each other. Their white skin unites them. Same with the Asians. Not so with the Africans. Their black skin divides them. They are ashamed of their black skin and do not want to be associated with other black people. Tribalism also contributes to the divide. Every race gets it but the blacks. Two, self-hatred. Ever since the African crossed paths with the European, they have been in a constant state of self-hatred. Maybe even prior to that, who knows? They hate themselves right to their very core. They think everything about being white is good, beautiful, and wholesome. But everything black, black skin, features, coily hair is a curse. Big nose, big lips, nappy-headed beast. That's what they see when they look in the mirror and each other. And they want to erase it by procreating with their European colonizers. Adopting the Christian and Muslim religions have rendered African men weak and ineffective. They love their colonizers more than they love themselves. That's why they are okay with them controlling their lives as well as their resources, because they think they deserve it more than the Africans. That's why when we black Americans come over to try to build a house or open a business, the Africans sabotage us because in their mind and in their hearts, we don't deserve it. But in the mind of the African, they deserve to have the money that us black Americans have worked hard for all of our lives because that they do deserve. Next, is their treasonous nature. Selling other ethnic groups into slavery and African leaders making deals with the European or Asian countries that jeopardize the food security and financial stability of the whole country, keeping them in perpetual servitude. And for what? For trinkets. You know, in terms of slavery, it was trinkets, umbrellas, alcohol all to wind up being completely conquered themselves and made to worship a white god that seems to have forsaken them. Africans do not see that they were selling their own people. In their minds, they were just selling, you know, that you-know-what over there. But that's how everyone else sees it. The other races know that a black African will sell out the whole village for a few coins, in the case of liquor. 
This is why no one respects the black man in general. And lastly, dislike or distrust of other blacks. Africans don't trust each other, but they trust the Europeans, Chinese, and Indians all of which seek to gain dominance or continue to dominate the African continent and extract resources and wealth out of it whilst leaving the natives in poverty. But still, they are allowed to run amok, abuse Africans in their own country, offer predatory loans so they can take over the seaports, airports, and transportation systems, etc., etc., etc. And you know what? Africans are okay with it as long as they can wear nice secondhand clothes from the West and look like they have money, even though the majority live in poverty without running water or electricity. Now, I could go on and on and on, but I'm not. I'm going to end it here. It's not all Africans out to sabotage us Black Americans, but most. Let me know in the comments what you think about Africans sabotaging Blacks who seek to move or have moved to Africa. It's not everyone on the African continent doing these acts. So what can you do to stop your people from targeting the black diaspora for financial gain from shady dealings and instead help them to integrate into a society where they are accepted, supported, and free of widespread corruption and basic criminality? Let me know in the comments. I really want to hear what you guys think. Thanks for listening. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share with all of your friends. Until next time, live life happy in Africa.